And if we are going to institute uh, administrative measures to try to find out, um, to ask for, say for example, address proof, administratively it is doable but quite cumbersome. Uh, that may have an impact on the timely implementation of this scheme and getting the money to the hands of people. So uh, that's why uh, this time long, uh, initially our thinking is that let's don't make such a distinction and encourage these people to come back to visit their friends and to spend their money there. And we have been uh, hearing the feedbacks from, uh, from our people and this is something that perhaps uh, we may look further into it. But the initial thinking and the Put it this way, the overriding objective is to implement the scheme as quickly and as simply as possible. Any estimates on how much this can spur the economy? Can you quantify it for us? About 1% about uh, this cash handout scheme. But together with the other relief measures in the budget and also the anti-epidemic uh, funds and the four rounds of measures we have been rolling out since last August together they would help to stimulate our GDP by about 3%. Now you mentioned all the uh, relief packages as well as the stimulus. Mm -hmm. uh, the government has announced $30 billion last year uh, in four rounds. Earlier this month, another $30 billion Hong Kong dollars yes. in anti-epidemic fund. Mm -hmm. And then this week, $120 billion Hong Kong dollars. Mm -hmm. You've already forecast six consecutive budget deficits. Um, how is the government placed? If this virus outbreak does not get control, and further aid is needed? Mm, well, depending on circumstances, uh, fortunately, Hong Kong, we have very strong fiscal reserve. At the moment, our fiscal reserves stand at about 11 billion Hong Kong dollar. Although the coming financial year, we are going to have a huge uh, deficit, but mostly because of the cash and house scheme and the one-off relief measures, which is one time and mm, do not have long-term financial implications. Uh, in the future years, yes, on the operating account, we have a deficit to the order of about $50 billion. But on a consolidated basis, uh, the deficit would be around $70 billion to about $8 billion. In the context of a budget of uh, $700 billion, this is relatively small. I would argue that it is perhaps uh, in the medium term uh, forecast it is a broadly balanced budget and it is up to us in these difficult circumstances to try to revive the economy as early, uh, as quickly as possible. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.